Good morning, Endure Elite family of fast. You know what we haven't done for a while? We haven't busted the bullshit for a while. On the chopping block today is this question. Can holding your breath while you're running, cycling, or doing other endurance exercise improve your VO2 max? I don't even know why I'm shooting this video because it takes a special kind of stupid to think that it's actually good for you to hold your breath during exercise and then also to think that it's going to improve your VO2 max. So let's get right into this. So this technique of holding your breath during exercise is called voluntary hypoventilation. It basically involves this, breathing out and then holding your breath for sporadic periods of time while you're exercising for like five to 10 seconds. And the whole theory goes is that just kind of simulates high altitude training and will create all these changes in physiological variables and make your VO2 max better, your lactate threshold better, or have you, you know, be able to exercise longer for harder. But there's actually no truth to this in terms of improving VO2 max, but it may be beneficial in other areas, which we'll talk about here in a second. But let's look at the research on this first. There's a guy named Xavier Warons that has actually done quite a few studies on voluntary hypoventilation. And one of the studies he actually did look at if it increases VO2 max. So here's what he did. He took a group of 15 runners and he split them into two groups. One group was going to breathe normally during treadmill testing, and the other group was going to breathe normal while also cycling in this voluntary hypoventilation. Now, before the testing protocol, he did all this pre-testing on them as far as like VO2 max, lactate threshold, and time to exhaustion. So he got the pre-test numbers in place. Then what he had these runners do is come into the lab on 12 separate occasions over the course of four weeks and had them run on a treadmill at 70% of VO2 max for 24 minutes. One group breathed normal like they usually would while running, while the other group breathed normal and had sporadic periods of exhaling and holding their breath and then breathing normally again. So at the end of this four weeks, they crunched all this data and guess what they found out? They found out that the group that did the voluntary hypoventilation experienced zero changes in VO2 max, lactate threshold, or time to exhaustion. So the point being that holding your breath during exercise is not going to improve your VO2 max. But they did find something actually pretty interesting that may be beneficial for athletes who participate and explosive sports like rugby or soccer, where you have periods of extended running followed by like short repeated sprints. They found out that the pulmonary or the, the voluntary hypoventilation somehow was able to create an acidity buffering effect in the muscles, so it buffered the accumulation of hydrogen ions as exercise intensity increases. And Xavier Warons, the guy that did this VO2 max study, has done about three or four studies on other groups of athletes as it relates to repeated sprint performance uh, in rugby players, swimmers, and cyclists. So for in one study he did on rugby players, he again split them into two groups. One group did 40 meter sprints while breathing normally, and then the other group did 40 meter sprints while exhaling and holding their breath their whole time, which sounds absolutely miserable. But at the end of this study, they found out that the group that did the voluntary hypoventilation was actually able to improve repeated sprint performance. So this voluntary hypoventilation may be beneficial in sports or activity where there's repeated sprints, again, like soccer, rugby, um, maybe some other sports that require explosive movements from time to time, but in no way is it going to increase VO2 max. So that is all I have for today, my endurance friends. If you have a buddy who thinks it's a good idea to hold their breath during endurance exercise in the hopes that they're gonna increase their VO2 max, please share this video with them. Oh God, please share this video with them. If you want other videos like this on endurance training, nutrition, supplementation, and busting the BS, subscribe to the Endure Elite YouTube channel or head on over to the Endure Elite blog at www.endureelite.com. Get social with us on Instagram and over at the Family of Fast Facebook page. And until next time, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and stay informed.